Well, another day in Central Texas, another weather record broken. The most consecutive days at or above 105 degrees. And we also tied a record high for the day. And the drop in humidity increases our wildfire risk. KXAN's Nabil Ramanda reports now it comes at a time when Texas is having a tough time staffing its fire departments outside big cities. As soon as they get the call, <laughs> firefighters like Bill Burden and Jeff Opim head out to the scene. We're a volunteer fire department. There are no paid staff. Yep, you heard right. Unpaid, but still devoted to the community of Round Mountain and the surrounding areas. If we weren't here, then they would have to um, get fire services from the next town over, and that could take an extra 15, 20, 30 minutes. Filling these volunteer positions has been a challenge, though. The decline has just been significant. Chief Chris Barron with Manshack Fire Rescue says it can be a challenge to volunteer calls in the middle of the night or managing another job. Volunteer fire departments are having a hard time keeping up with uh, the recruitment of volunteers. But there is some hope and it may be working. These banners are quite a bit helpful. Marketing to the hundreds of cars that drive by each day. The Texas A&M Forest Service has awarded $300,000 to more than 100 departments. The $3,000 grant can be used to buy banners, signs, billboards, flyers, postcards, and other things to help recruit. With signs next to the highway, as well as pamphlets just like this going out to the community, they say it's already working. Three candidates have already signed up to be a firefighter. It might be a simple tool, but Burden says it's helping in a big way. They don't know a lot about what we do, and so us being able to advertise through the Forest Service grant gets us that ability. In Round Mountain, Nabil Ramatna, KXAN News.